kind of crazy because I'm sitting here thinking about they were just in the Super Bowl. He's only been the, the coordinator um, for one season because uh, um, what's his name was hired uh, by the Texans, should have been um, coach of the year. And all of a sudden, the San Francisco 49ers fire the defensive coordinator. Now, now I, I'm a Cowboy fan, okay? I'm a Cowboy fan and so on. So forgive me if I don't understand. But I looked at that Super Bowl and I said that defense played really good. But Pat Mahomes on the last drive of the game, um, if you're going to fire Steve Wilkes, uh, Shanahan, I think you might need to fire yourself. Um, to me, that's kind of crazy because uh, you didn't know the rules for overtime to let them know that we should defer the football. Regina Green, what's up? What's up? Now, in answer to bringing in Marvin Lewis, and you say, why not? Because he was hired two weeks ago by uh, Antonio Pierce um, to be the assistant head coach of uh, the Raiders. So he's not available. Um, but just humor me for a second here with the 49ers. Uh, I think that there's been so much fallout about the overtime and how they screwed the pooch on that that Shanahan is making a move, you know, throwing somebody under the bus to try and deflect and everything else. But the way I look at that defense, the way they played, I'm, I've got more issues. I mean, they lost Greenlaw for, you know, part of the game there, um, you know, to, before the majority of the game and had to play without him against Pat Mahomes. And that was, that was a dogfight. That was a dogfight. And then there was something, and I, I haven't gotten the whole – gist of this but i can actually go to my buddy uh, philly 500 because he's got a little bit um about that uh, about jalen carter and things um but you know it's kind of crazy when we can kind of uh be on the same side being happy that san francisco is literally failing let me go to the tape here with, with philly for a few minutes before we get out of here let's let's listen in for a second uh, I guess volume. Especially after losing the Super Bowl. And I really don't Keep know on, what they thought was going to happen. Did they think they were going to get credit for going into overtime? Did they think that people were going to pat them on the back and say, hey, great job, good going over here? It wasn't going to happen. Everybody, Eagle fans, teams of other fans, Kansas City fans, everybody. Kansas City players, everybody, everybody remembers all the crap <laughs> that was talked by the 49er players and their fans their last fans year. Too. Oh my and God. they have there to just deal Eagles. with it. They have to take their medicine because what goes around comes around. We dealt with it last year. Now they've got to deal with it. And Jalen Carter has just taken this thing to the next level. It's absolutely crazy what we're talking about here. And we're going to get into it in a second. But before we do that, I have to say this. My fellow Eagle fans oh, out there, Lordy. you bleed green. I love you to death. You're the best. And I am so proud of you. I am oh, so proud of you because of threw this the statistic this that showed up. And I was saying, yeah, that's my he guys. Just can't help himself. That's my guys. They did a thing where they had the drunkest NFL fan bases, okay, based on blood <sighs> alcohol content readings. Do you know We're way who down. was number one? It wasn't the Eagles, baby. The Eagles weren't no, even in the top stupid. half, you don't need which makes me proud, stupid. which makes me proud. Just shows you we don't need alcohol to get fired up to watch our team play. We don't need anything. We do it naturally. Uh, but the Titans and their fans are the drunkest fans in the league. Now, when you stink, I think it's pretty easy to be uh, you know, a drunk. I guess. I don't know. I'm not a big drinker, list, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't like alcohol like I used to. It's weird. Just the older I get... The, the harder it is for me to drink. Like, I could have a beer and I'll get just a massive headache. Even a glass of wine with, like, you know, Philly, like spaghetti or something. Like, looks like that's I get a massive to hurt. headache to the point where I, it's like I don't even want to drink. So I, I, I will on occasions, you know, at the right situation, mm -hmm. drink, but it, it's very. It's not very often. I don't think mm -hmm. I've had anything. Gosh, I'll be honest. It's, it, it's probably away from me. at least six, <laughs> seven game. months, maybe closer to a year. But it, it's just oh, I had something uh, when I was in the Outer Banks in June. But anyways, who cares about me? But but based here's here's the fan bases, right? The Eagles, 
they're on the bottom half, okay? They you got the Titans them. and the Colts, the Saints, the Packers, Raiders, Buccaneers, Seahawks, Broncos, Panthers, Bengals, Cowboys. <laughs> oh, my God. And what's funny about the Cowboys oh, is wait, 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 if wait. you look at all the teams before them, none of those teams really were legitimate Super Bowl contenders. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Philly, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Do you guys see what he just did? Do you look? Okay. It goes left to right down. He just went down here, okay? It goes Titans, Steelers, Colts, Falcons, Saints, Dolphins, Packers, Patriots, Raiders, Rams, Buccaneers, Browns, Seahawks, 49ers, Broncos, Eagles, Panthers, Texans, Bengals, Bills, Cowboys. He's an idiot. Maybe he needs to drink, but go on. So you can understand why their fans are drinking. I mean, the Bengals are drinking their, their you know, their, they lose their quarterback. They're drinking their problems away. The Titans they stink. They're drinking their team. problems away. The Colts lose their quarterback. They're drinking their problems away. Packers, what are they going to do? It's cold outside. They don't even want to go out. Raiders are in Las Vegas. The Buccaneers, you know, they, they, they're just... They, they, they just sit on a boat and drink all day. Oh what do those people do out there? But when you look at actual Super Bowl contenders... The biggest drunkards in the world are the Cowboy fans. So when it comes to teams that actually had legitimate chances to win, the Cowboys oh my God. being Super Bowl contenders, as they call them, oh my God. they're the biggest drunkards. Not surprised at all. But if you look at the rest of it, I'm, I'm oh. very proud of my Eagle fans for this. Oh I am. God. We're in the bottom half. I mean, we're, we're behind so the 49ers. <laughs> we're behind um, oh Washington. Let's see where the Giants are. The Giants are down there at the bottom too, but but they live in like a communist area. They can't. They, they probably can't get alcohol without showing three forms of ID and paying extra taxes. It's probably like fifteen dollars for a beer out there you in, in, in communist New York. So who knows? But yeah, oh the, uh, the Chiefs are the second lowest, and and the Jets. Those people just gave up. They've gone to the heavy drugs, I think. Oh, but the Chiefs, I mean, they win a lot. What do they, you know, they don't have to drink that much. And like I said, the Jets, I think they just, I think they oh, just went God. to harder stuff. Oh. But I'm very proud of the Eagle fans for this. We get a lot of bad rap. Oh, and uh, you know what? I've, I've, Congratulations, please, Eagle please fans, please on not being, uh, you know, the most drunk or the, even the top half of the most drunk fans in the NFL. Oh. They can't come at us for that. And they'll never give us credit for it either. Now, Philly. I want to talk about this, John. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just drinking a beer. You're drinking a beer? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but I thought they'd give you a headache, you dingbat. Um, on your, on your Yo, last wow. video. Dude, right. Um, you're a dingbat. <laughs> and uh, you know what? You read it Congrats. wrong, you idiot. <laughs> You were sitting there, hey, you're a bunch of drunkards. I'm proud of my eagles. You dig bad. Are you drinking now? I was drinking. I was drinking when I did it. Oh, my God. You're an idiot. I was looking at that. I said, no, he didn't just go straight down the line. I was like, oh, God, you're an idiot. And my... Oh, God. I was going to take it down, and I'm like, oh, man, you, you just can't take something down like that. That's just not gold, mess. not when you prove how much of a dingbat you are. You just got to take, take the heat with that one. I just got to eat that. That's oh. just terrible. <laughs> okay, I, so, I so uh, oh, the, le, warning, team. warning. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I was doing the press conference for the Cowboys, and then Steve, <laughs> Steve Wilkes gets fired by the 49ers. I know, that's crazy. So I was going through on your video live to show uh, uh, talking about the 49ers because we, we can all agree, and I hadn't watched it, and then you're going through. So we are live right now. Oh, <laughs> you're a dingbat, buddy. Okay, so will you admit now that the Eagles are drunkards? The one, the, one, the one thing you can say about me is I what? Don't hide from, I don't hide from my mistakes. I don't take it down. I don't put videos on private. I, I, I do? I eat it. No, I didn't oh. eat it. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not saying I'm just saying, like, if, you know, people say, why do you have the Jamie Harris reactor video up still? I'm like, I don't run from, from my mistakes. No, you, know? you shouldn't. 
Uh, you know, hey, we're all human. Did I tell you I love you, son? Yeah, I love you too. But yeah, that, I totally screwed <laughs> you. I was so happy this morning. I was like, wow, we're not, we're not really down. We're doing really We're not bad. really drinking much. I'll drink to that. <laughs> so I'm just telling everybody, yeah, I'm drunk when I read it. But I was, it was like five in the morning. I was trying to do a video before work. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you, know, you have a nice day. So I was trying to get this, my video done for Oh, because you got some baby making to do, right? Oh yeah, you gotta make some babies. Okay. Gotta make some babies. All right, don't oh, yeah, do so don't do it gotta... drunk, buddy. Don't do it drunk. Cause who, who knows what you'll do? <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to eat that. that that's a big mistake by me. I think it's funny to be honest. It's hilarious. With you, so I'm not gonna change it. That's that's what makes me me, I guess. All right. Have a great day, son. Happy All Valentine's right, thanks Day. For, thanks for calling me up to tell me that I was wrong about something. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Peace out. Okay, so we caught that in real time, and he's owning up to it, that he's a dingbat and an idiot. Uh, So that's where we'll go with this. But this originally was talking about how the 49ers are literally imploding, and it couldn't happen to a nicer fan base because I thought Eagle fans were bad. Apparently, they're not, you know, they drink a lot and they're not real bright, as Philly 500 proves. Uh, But 49er fans, man, they are ruthless. And, you know, I think that this might be karma coming back. One thing I learned, and and maybe it's all coincidence, but every time that I started kind of celebrating a little too soon, it seems like teams would come back and win. That Lions game, I thought that thing was done. Man, this is over with. And you know I've done that with Cowboys a couple times too soon, too. And so that last game, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Not going to celebrate to have that come back in my face. But uh, it definitely did to uh, the 49ers. And unbelievably, they fired their defensive coordinator. And uh, it's getting ugly in San Francisco. All right, good people. It is Valentine's Day. Go take care of your Valentine. Get her some flowers. Uh, Me, I got mine plants because, see, the the thing about flowers, man, and my wife is, she she loves her plants. She loves plants. Um, She used to not have a green thumb. She used to have a brown thumb because it used to be that she would kill all the plants. But she has gotten to be incredible with them. And the greenery looks so beautiful in the house. And the thing about buying flowers is, you know, they're only good for about a week, maybe two weeks if you're lucky. But if you give her a plant, you can look and see that plant every single day. So I got two. I got these two plants. I don't know what they're called, but they have like a white flower. You know, they're nice and green and long stalk. But they have a flower. It looks like a cup with like, like the, huh? Peace lily, peace lily. So what I did was I got two peace lilies and I put one on each nightstand and I got a heart pillow. And unfortunately, she came back before I put the card on there, too. But definitely take care of the lovely lady in your life, because if you don't, you'll have hell to pay. I'm Mark Holmes. I appreciate you guys being here. And as always. Is this respected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no, go. they suck. Versatile. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Jalen Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Jalen Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them?